Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to remove database mirroring in SQL Server. In this video, we'll be learning how to remove database mirroring, number one. Number two, how to take last transactional log backup. Number three, how to restore mirror database with last transactional log backup and how to bring mirror database online. And the scenario behind this is that we do want to remove database mirroring. However, we want to keep our database that we use to mirror on our mirror server. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me show you real quick that this is our uh, TFS underscore DW. It, it is the principal database and it is mirrored to our mirror server right here. Um, let me refresh this. As you can see right here, the TFS DW is mirror. So um, let's go ahead and do the first thing that we're going to go ahead and remove the database from mirroring. And keep in mind when you remove the database from principal right here, what it does to the mirror server, this database instead of mirror synchronized, it goes to restoring state. Still this database after removing the principal, the TFS DW, which is the principal database, if you remove the mirroring from there, this will become online without the mirror and this will become restoring and you cannot use TFS underscore DW on your mirror server. The scenario up here is you would like to keep TFS DW uh, mirror uh, online as well uh, even though uh, this uh, mirroring is removed between these two databases but you still wanted to keep this database online. So uh, the steps we're going to take in this video is that first we're going to go ahead and remove this uh, um, uh, the mirroring from TFS DW from the principal and then after that what we're going to do is take a transactional log backup a last transactional log backup of TFS DW on the principal and restore this database with that transactional log backup uh, and bring it online so let's go ahead and uh, remove that in order to remove mirroring from the database you need to right click on the database and go to tasks and click on mirror and once you have the mirror wizard right here, you have an option called remove mirror. So when you, once you click on this, the, it'll ask you that, are you sure that you want to remove the mirror on this database mirroring? So let's go ahead and click on remove mirror and yes, that's our intention and click OK. Once we click OK and refresh this database, you will see that principal and synchronized is gone away. As you can see, this becomes online and this is not mirroring at this moment. So let's go ahead and take a look on the status of our mirror server. What happened to the status up here? As you can see that it it went in restoring mode. So let's uh, the, the scenario is that we do want to keep this database and want it to use for some uh, for some days, and then we can go ahead and delete this this database, and maybe we can uh, uh, put the mirroring back later on. But at this moment, we want to bring this database online as well. So in order to do that, we need to take a transactional log backup up here of this database. That is latest transactional log backup. So we're going to go ahead and click backup and we're going to go ahead and select on transaction log and remove this and add up here and we're going to name it last tran underscore tfs underscore dwd dot trn which is transaction log um, file extension so we're going to go ahead and click ok media option if this exists you can overwrite that backup option looks okay so let's go go ahead and click OK as you can see that the transaction log backup is completed now let's go ahead on our mirror server and restore this transaction and bring this database online so we're gonna go ahead and right click on this database and go to task and restore and we're gonna click on transaction log backup keep in mind that if you don't do that any other transaction log backup you will try to restore it's going to give you error that the, it, this is not the latest transaction log there are other transaction log needs to be restored before you can restore the this transaction log so keep in mind that if there are transaction logs uh, in between you need to restore all of them sequentially uh, uh, I mean sequentially so let's go ahead and um, click on um, restore transaction log so we're gonna go ahead and click on device and um, last time what I did I moved the files from one server to another this time what I'm going to you do is use the UNC path 
I'm going to go ahead where the transaction log backup is, which is TBS SQL C dollar. So I'm going to click yes, and I'm going to find that using UNC path. So let's go ahead and find that. That is where our latest database backup is. So let's find our last tran underscore TFS. This is what we did. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And option up here is restore with recovery. So keep in mind that this is the last transaction log backup between full backup and this. This is the only transaction log backup that we have. If you have more transaction log backup, you need to restore those first before you can restore this. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. As you can see, that database DW restored successfully and it became usable for us on our mirror server as well. So now they can, um, you know, in organization, if you need uh, to run some reporting on uh, mirror server on this particular database, they can go ahead and use this database just like normal database. And you can go ahead and delete later on. So basically, this is it. This is how you remove a database mirroring and bring the uh, mirror database online for your use if you wanted to use for a little bit. So in this video, we learned that how to remove database mirroring and uh, take last transaction log backup and restore mirror database with transaction log backup and brought the database online. I hope this video helps.